Come on, come on. What's going on, Minnesota? Deep, uh, my name is Michael Blake. I'm an assembly member out of New York, but I'm a friend of Minnesota. I've spent a lot of time out here. First and foremost, I have to show love. Can we put your hands together for your chair, Ken Martin, right now? He's looking good. He got that good tie. I see you, Ken. To all the DNC members, all the leadership, of course, to our friends in DMO, to Susie and so many others, of course, to Ron and Aaron, grateful for your leadership. I come to you today because as Democrats, we have to stand and fight together. Let me try this again. As Democrats, we have to stand and fight together. I come to you as someone who's a son of Jamaican immigrants. My mother, for 40 years, worked at a manufacturing plant in Inglewood, New Jersey. My daddy, out of labor, he was with 1199 SEIU. Is any labor in the house right now? My oldest brother served this country for 29 years in the U.S. Army as a sergeant first class. We come to you right now. In the words of Dr. King, in the end, we will not be remembered by the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. Well, Minnesota, we can't be silent right now. We cannot be silent in what is going on in D.C. We reject Trump and Pence and Ryan and McConnell. We reject their rhetoric right now. And since we are in a progressive state, let me take it a little further. We reject their sexist, misogynistic, racist, discriminatory rhetoric and actions. We reject that. That is not who we are as Americans. We come to you to say we stand as Democrats for all of our communities. We stand up for women's rights. Let's be clear about that. And and men, you can be like me, and you can say I'm a man and I'm a feminist at the same time. We don't just qualify it and say it's wrong if my mom was disrespected or wrong if my sister was disrespected. If a woman is disrespected, it's wrong, plain and simple. Don't qualify it, just call it for what it is. But it also means that as Democrats, let's stand up in this moment right now. Yes, we know Trump is bad, but tell them why we're good. Tell them what we fight for. We fight for health care. We fight for education. We fight for environmental rights. We fight for criminal justice. We stand up for all of our communities. They stand up for the 1%. We fight for the 100%. They fight for obstacles. We fight for opportunity. They fight for struggles. We fight for surging. We are Democrats. That is who we are. Tell them the vision of this new DNC. We're not just talking about electing Democrats every four years and just the White House. No, no, we're focused on every zip code counts. We want to elect Democrats from the school board to the Oval Office. So we want you to run for school board and for state house and state senate and for Congress and city council. Run for all offices so that we can be a part of what's happening here. And that means that we can't be silent when actions are being taken against any of us. That means when they talk about a wall against our Latinos, you don't just have to be Latino to reject a racist wall. You don't just have to be Muslim to reject an unconstitutional ban. You don't just have to be someone that's from a rural community to reject rural discrimination. You don't just have to be LGBTQ to stand up against discrimination. You don't just have to be a person with disability to discriminate against that. And you don't just have to be black to say you are sick and tired of them disrespecting us when we take a knee against black and brown people being shot and killed. That is who we are. So 
So when we think about what's at stake, it's not just about 2020. No, talk to me about 2018. Talk to me about the energy in this room right now. Talk to me about what happens when we leave from here. See, no matter what happens today, let's be real clear. We need to make sure Democrats get elected up and down the ballot when we get to November, everybody. I welcome us having differing views. I welcome us coming from differing backgrounds. I acknowledge that we won't agree all the time. That is okay. But I would rather fight and stand up with people I agree with 90% of the time than to deal with these jokes on the other side I disagree with 99% of the time. And, and if you're wondering about the energy here, see, Minnesota, you hold a very special place in my heart. After I left Iowa in 2008, I went down to South Carolina, and for Super Tuesday, of any place they could have sent me in the country, they sent me to Minnesota. If you don't believe me, my supporter housing was this guy, you might have heard him, his name is R.T. Ryback. R.T. loved me enough that he let this Jamaican-American borrow yellow mittens because I had never experienced cold like that in my life right now. But there's energy that happens when we're focused on our local races. See, that's the reason why we could go to Virginia and have a governor get elected and a lieutenant governor get elected and an AG get elected and have 15 pickups. You can Talk to them about what happened in Alabama. Now they got to know Doug Jones. Who Doug Jones? That's his name right now. When, when they ask about what happens around the country, show them that now we have a black woman that's mayor in Atlanta and in Charlotte. Show them that we have Latina delegates in Virginia. Show them that we have a Sikh mayor in Hoboken, New Jersey. Show them that we have a lesbian mayor in Seattle. Show them what's possible when Democrats come together. That is who we are, Democrats. So I close by saying this, whenever we need motivation, whenever we need to be reminded about where we're going as a people, never forget our president, the 44th President Barack Obama, and also never forget First Lady Michelle Obama. In 2000, when he was a state senator, he ran for Congress and he didn't win. He didn't have the right credentials for all the days at the convention in 2000. But because he kept putting in the work, four years later, the same convention he couldn't attend, he was the keynote speaker. Two years after that, we took back Congress. Two years after that, 45 years to the day of Dr. King giving I have a dream speech, Barack Obama became the Democratic nominee. Two months after that, he became president-elect. Two months after that, he was our president, a president that helped us get health care, a president that focused on criminal justice reform, a president that said we're going to stand up for our veterans, a president that stood up for all of our communities. So Minnesota, make today be the day that we send our message to D.C. We will not sit silently by by what's going on, D.C. I come to you as someone whose family went from no house in Jamaica to the black house at Northwestern to the white house in DC to the state house at Albany and we are here in Minnesota to say this is our time this is our time this is our time thank you democrat
Oh, delegates, I do not want to speak after Michael Blake, but I'm giving you a one-minute warning that we will be freezing the floor. One minute.